back to my channel. So it's been a really hot minute since I've last recorded, I think like over a month. Anyway, so we are back in the zone and we're gonna be reviewing another beauty product today. This is the uh, Naka Face Water King Cover Cushion, I believe, and it retails for about uh, $18 to $20. That's the prices I've seen online. So I got mine for about, I think, $19 off of Jules. Um, and I got it in shade 23. There are sh three shades, 21, 22, and 23. I got the darkest one, obviously. But looking at the pictures online, they looked... It was so weird because it's like the picture of the product itself and like the swatch they have for the product was very pink based but the ones on her hands like the model's hand was very yellow so i was like huh and i'm a very yellow toned person as you guys can tell um so i'm hoping that this is more yellow based this is supposed to be a high adherence dewy cushion that has a lot of coverage and it should last a lot throughout the day so i'm super excited to try this out i've applied the foundation to my face. So far, um, I would say that this is medium coverage. It's not transfer proof because like if you look, if I just touch my face, actually, I'm gonna come a little bit closer to you guys. So now that I'm a lot closer to you guys, hopefully you guys can notice. Well, for one thing, it's <laughs> definitely not my shade. Okay, so there's definitely some user error here because I just did not pick the right color for me. I'm gonna try to make this work. Like I'm gonna try to bronze, a lot. First thing to notice is that this cushion, it's this uh, formula is very not transfer resistant. Like you can see my entire finger mark right there. Um, so be wary with your clothes. It's probably gonna wipe off. So a lot of like these dewy foundations are always really easily transferred. And I gotta say, I don't know if this is like a sh just a shade thing or something, but I hate how it looks on my skin and I know that's something really bad but I am on Accutane right now so I have very specific skin issues um I have pretty uh dry skin right now so I feel like the moisturization would have helped with this but this product seems to just sit and cake up around any of my dry spots especially like around here near my pores. It doesn't glide over my pores like as you would imagine a regular foundation would. It kind of just sits around it and then focuses like it gets into the crevices of the dry patches. So I don't like how that looks. But from far away, honestly, this foundation looks really beautiful. Like on camera, my skin has this really beautiful, healthy glow to it that I'm just like, I don't know, it's kind of good. Like it's a product that pulls away at your skin and focuses on it and makes it really not so attractive. I don't really like this cushion. See, right away, the problem with these cushion foundations is they crease like a mother. Oh god, they crease. So like on my eyelids, since I have hooded eyelids, right, the fat over here collects, right? The product stays there and when I blink, it there's a crease line. So it's just like unacceptable maybe this was just a bad choice on my end because it is such a dewy cushion sometimes dewy cushions just aren't made out for certain people's face shapes i guess um like if you have hooded eyes it's not gonna work out unless you set the product right away oh god it's catching onto my dry my cracked lip here from accutane i would say medium coverage it doesn't completely cover all of my acne scars but i would be able to like leave the house like this so it's fine so for me, I can't go out with like an oily T-zone, so I'm going to set around here. I don't like this. So far, like first impression wise, I'm not going to use this ever again. Probably because the color is wrong. I'm probably going to give this to my friend, so maybe I could ask her how it goes uh, because she's a lot paler than me. Maybe this will work out for her. The thing with like Korean foundations is like you could be a 23 in one brand, but a 25 27 in a different brand and I really hate that because like what's the point of having all like the same numbers right what's the point of having the same numbers if they're not all the same shades so I feel like there should be like a universal idea of what a certain shade should look like oh if you guys can't notice I'm gonna actually try to zoom in as much as I can so that you guys can actually see so anytime I raise my eyebrows I get like creases right Usually, I don't get wrinkles from this, but this foundation settles into the lines right there. And also down here, it 
collects into my dry patches around my acne scars, like right here, and on my pores, it's really bad. Uh, it like collects there, especially around here where I'm pretty dry, even if I moisturize. I'm gonna put on the rest of my face makeup and I'll come back to you guys. Hey guys, so I put on the rest of my face pretty much. I have to go really really soon like in two minutes um, But this is what my skin looks like right now. I hope you guys can see that I try to use a lot more bronzer to make it look a lot more natural and I put down my hair so that no one can see my super dark neck compared to my <laughs> pale face. Oh god um, So I'm gonna be going out today in this makeup. I'll check back in with you guys in um, maybe like a few hours like six to eight hours I would say so that you could you guys can see how long this foundation really lasts while I was putting on the foundation I just want to note if you guys ever have a dewy foundation that like creases on you always make sure to set uh, with your uh, puff with your beauty blender whatever make sure that you blend it in again before right before you set otherwise you're gonna be setting in those crease lines that you get that I showed you guys earlier so I noticed that this after you mattify it it doesn't look as bad because dewy foundations do tend to uh, over exaggerate and make your skin not look as great up close because from far away like the glow looks amazing but up close you can really see where the pigment and the shine really don't mix on your face this is the current update I will talk to you guys in a little bit so it is about nine o'clock I am in my bathroom right now because uh, I swear it's brightest even though like it's really loud um, I wanted to show you guys how the makeup is. It's 9 o'clock, so it's only been about 8 hours. And this foundation has severely underwhelmed me. I didn't use a pore filling primer. But I don't usually have a really big problem with the pores on my nose. Like whenever I use my Estee Lauder foundation or my Moonshot, it doesn't get this bad. But this foundation just sunk right into every single one of my pores that just stayed there so now it looks like I have like a bunch of like white spots all over my nose so I don't really like how that looks and also since it's a dewy foundation it lost a lot of its dew actually um even like because usually a dewy foundation even after I powdered usually it'll be a little bit glowy later on in the day but it's actually still super matte. It settled into my lines and I, I'm 20. I don't have lines, but I do smile a lot and it does uh, get stuck in these areas. Sometimes if it's a really dewy foundation and it did that today, I don't I know you can't really tell, but usually if it's a matte foundation, it won't, it won't have this line here when I'm not emoting, I guess. So. Because it's dewy, it's going to move around a lot. So if you have wrinkles or lines or whatever, stay away from this foundation. It's very, it's very transferable and it's not crease proof. I just don't like it. And this is really weird because usually I'm pretty like, the bar is set pretty low when it comes to like foundations for me, especially since I'm on Accutane, like your skin is pretty dry so it's really easy to maintain and like to have nice foundation every single day. So it's really rare for me to find something that doesn't work. But I just don't like this foundation. If you're someone who doesn't have problems with like lines, um, and if you like a really dewy finish, uh, that you're okay with like coming off, whatever, like, you know, that kind of foundation, um, this might be for you. And also if you're pretty pale and if you're more of a neutral tone instead of like a yellowy tone, you might enjoy this. Yeah. I will see you guys in the next update.